morning, afternoon, wherever y'all land on that spectrum. Um, taking a walk around the garden area. I, uh, as an experiment, a while back I threw some, I don't know if y'all can see that, it's hard in the sun, threw some tomato seeds out here in the grow bed of the aquaponics as a experiment to seed starting as opposed to starting them in the little trays with the seed starting mix but I did that also and ended up with a bunch of tomatoes already planted out in the garden I also direct sowed some straight out in the garden and that seems to be working as well so I'm not sure where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put these guys I need to get them out of here and get them in the ground somewhere but I don't I don't know. I'll try to find a spot for them. And there's some uh, eggplant and I think that's a cantaloupe. And some more eggplant over there. I don't have a spot for yet, picked out for yet. But man, this celery's going nuts, y'all. I snip it off and use it from time to time, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have to cut it out and dehydrate it maybe I don't know or just let it go and feed I feed some of it to the ducks and the chickens and the rabbits and they love it but anyway um, there's some carrots going down there a couple random small tomatoes over there I'm gonna have to stake up later when they get big some eggplants more tomatoes I think those are the San Marzanos. I can't remember because y'all know I don't label anything. Planted my rosemary in the corner and a shishito pepper in there that I'm trying to baby. I got some more pepper starts going. Hey ducks. Hey ducks. There's some carrots going out here. They seem to be doing okay. I think I finally got rid of the ants in this bed. Oh, and there's some more seed starts I'm doing. Some more peppers and I think some, I don't remember, mustard greens and I don't know. I labeled them. I'll figure that out later if they actually grow. Uh, the sugar snap peas are kind of not digging this heat. They're turning kind of yellow and getting dry but I'm still getting some some sugar snap peas off there and got some beets beet greens going down there I snip those off and saute them up with my omelets or breakfast scrambles or whatever and still that was the area where the uh, chickens ate all my potato tops that's okay I planted a couple more rows of potatoes over there, so we'll see how that goes. The um, sweet potatoes seem to be doing okay. I planted a little row of icicle radishes. I've never grown those before. Just got some of those this year, so we'll see how it goes. Plus, I have some, um, I guess, squash, volunteer squash in here. And, yeah, I think I popped a couple more squash in there. And couple of little bush beans the other day and they're popping up uh, let's see uh, I have some more bush beans over there in a small row I think there's some peppers that I direct seeded it's hard to tell from here let's see that are popping up I need to get some compost and cover around these but yeah there's a lot of weeds but I think those were the peppers that I direct sowed and there's some more right there and then a couple more little tiny rows hard to see but some more what is that that is okra yeah okay <laughs> scared my dog <laughs> oh nice okay we're not really in the country, sort of suburban-ish suburban area, but clearly, you know, no big deal. People still shoot guns around here. <laughs> oh, I forgot what this was, y'all. It's either a, man, I never 
ever label anything. This might be a butternut squash or some kind of pumpkin. I really don't remember. I don't remember, y'all. Terrible at this garden expansion thing. Um, since it's hard to see from here, but over there, there's a couple of rows where I had little corns coming up. They're only about eight inches tall, maybe. But the deer came through and snipped all the tops off of them. So I did another little section right here this morning. Little section of corn. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Maybe they're shooting turtles. I'm not sure. Potatoes. Second round of potatoes. We'll see if they come up and see how they do. We do have some okra over here that the chickens didn't get to yet. That are coming along okay. I think about six of them. Seven. Man, sorry about that, y'all. I don't know if y'all can even see all this for the sun right out here. Um, cucumbers coming along nicely. Starting to grab onto the fence and come up. There's more tomatoes over there next to the fence so I can tie them up when they get big and another row of carrots next to them. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Something out in the pond they're shooting at. Um, bee greens are still going okay. It's getting kind of kind of uh, hot for them. I have some bush beans here in the middle. A couple of random things mixed in like Swiss chard and collard greens and so forth. I think there's a tomato back there behind the, the green beans that I'm going to have to stake up when it grows. And there's some squash going over there. And this one tomato that I bought, I think it's a red plum tomato. I didn't have, hang on, let me go around into the actual garden. Maybe you can see better from the other angle. It's the only one I bought from the feed store as a start so if I can see that it's starting to make blooms there and up here so I guess we'll be able to try some red plum tomatoes since I didn't have that variety I snagged this one but these are the ones I did direct sowing and they seem to be coming along okay They're still really little, but it'll be alright. Anyway, that's how it's going now. Hope everybody's garden's in full swing. Well, some of y'all up north, maybe not, but down here in the south, it's already hot. And, oh, see? I have so many tomatoes. Another random tomato. Volunteer basil from last year. I have several of them coming up. That's awesome. And the one lone kale plant in the corner. Look. It's looking a little wilty. It's really hot. <laughs> but it'll perk back up later this evening when I water it. Alright, hope everybody's having a good day. I will see y'all soon.